Hi everybody, welcome to Go Hobby. Here we have the six-lined wrasse. The six-lined wrasse is one of the most popular reef-friendly fish due to its distinctive coloration, comparatively cheap price, interesting swimming habits, and personality. This one here is a new addition to my tank, and I've yet to name her, so if you have a good suggestion, please share it in the comments below, and in time, I'll select a name from those comments. The six-lined wrasse comes from the waters of the Indo-Pacific. It will grow to reach two to three inches in an aquarium, and will display a peaceful to semi-aggressive demeanor. For the most part, the six-lined wrasse will be a peaceful addition to your community tank, However, you do need to be careful placing this guy with smaller, more timid wrasses. It's also advisable to introduce smaller, more timid fish to your tank before introducing a six-line wrasse. The six-line wrasse is a hardy fish that is highly recommended for the beginning hobbyist. Despite their tiny mouths, they are voracious eaters of meaty seafoods, frozen foods, flake foods, and they may even go after those pesky flatworms and bristleworms that often find a way into a reef tank. Six-line wrasses are also more disease-resistant than many other fish, and if you take good care of your six-line wrasse, it may live up to five years. The six-line wrasse is a bold fish that you will enjoy watching as it swims in and out of rocky caves and hovers around the surfaces of rocks as it hunts for tiny morsels of food. As you can see, it swims in a similar fashion to a pufferfish, hovering in and around rocks like a tiny streamlined blimp. Bulgy eyes that pivot around like periscopes give this fish a comical personality. Here's the water parameters you'll want to pay attention to. There are some documented cases of six-line wrasses mating in aquariums, but much less success with actually raising the young. The parenting skills of six-line wrasses leave much to be desired, as they basically drop their eggs off wherever they see fit and then abandon them entirely. The abandoned eggs are quickly eaten up by predators and sucked into powerheads and filters never to be seen again. I read a few anecdotal stories online from reef hobbyists, and they report that the male can be aggressive towards the female during mating. It's also my understanding that during the mating, the male displays more intense coloration while the female remains paler and is typically smaller than her male companion. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the six-line wrasse. Please take the time to like this video, subscribe, and come back for more great hobby-related videos here on Go Hobby.